In this video, I am going to review the Montblanc Summit 3 watch, both for everyday use and for sports, especially cycling. The Montblanc brand was created in Hamburg in 1906. The first manufactured products were pens, but since then, many different kinds of luxury goods have been made for travel and everyday life. The Summit 3 watch is today the only watch using Wear S3 with the Galaxy Watch 4 and 5. I am used to Samsung watches and I wanted to see how are alternatives. Before we start, I must say that this video has not been sponsored by Montblanc. I decided by myself to go to the Montblanc shop next to my home and bought a Summit 3 watch. In this video, we are first going to see what's in the box and then we'll speak about everyday features, accuracy when used for cycling and finally, we'll discuss if it's worth the 1260 euros. Now, let's open the box. The box is massive and looks very nice. You can immediately see that it's a luxury good. Inside, you will get the watch, one silicon and one laser band, a charging dock, USB-C cable, quick start guide, safety manual, and a special work from the brand Montblanc that thanks you and invites you to get online or to any boutique if you need any support. The setup is pretty straightforward thanks to Wear OS 3. When you start the watch, you get invited to download the Summit app on your phone and the pairing process is very easy. For those who are not familiar with smartwatches, it's a positive point. The design is brilliant. Every detail has been carefully handled and the watch really looks premium. The screen is bright and awesome, even in sunlight. It is big enough, not too big and really convenient when typing something. The default watch face is the Geosphere, designed by Montblanc, which can be customized. Again, it looks premium and it perfectly reflects the value of the brand and the watch. This is the default one, but the best one, I think. If you prefer other watch faces, you can access all watch faces on the Play Store, which have been developed for a race. The bands are comfortable and look very nice, even the silicone one. You can see, like a pyramid structure, a reference to the summit, which makes it look not cheap. The battery life is comparable to many other Wear OS watches. I was not able to find the capacity on the online documentation, but you will have to charge it every day. If you start with, let's say, 100% in the morning, expect from 40 to 50 left in the evening if you do nothing special and around 20% when recording a 1 or 2 hour sports activity using GPS. If you compare to other watches, it is in the average among Wear OS devices, maybe even more in the lower average than upper average for this point. But the charging process is very fast, it is not a wireless charging, which makes it more efficient to my opinion. So it's not so bad. The Summit 3 has a sleep tracking feature. The first thing you need to know is to go to the sleep mode. In fact, you have to enable theater or cinema mode and this is not intuitive since I more often go to sleeping than I go to the cinema but the button you need to use is the one for cinema. Strange. Anyway, I played a little bit with it during a few days and I compared results with my Samsung Galaxy Watch 4. The results are not exactly the same but it is hard to guess which one is closer to reality. On the summit side, I have 2 hours and a half deep sleeping, 3 hours light, 2 hours REM, and 27 minutes awaken. On the galaxy side, 
one hour and a half deep sleeping, three and a half light, two hours REM, 45 minutes awaken. The difference in result is not so big. I had the impression of being awakened at maximum half an hour, this is why I would say the summit is maybe more accurate. On the galaxy side, however, you have a snoring detection feature. As with any smartwatch, you can handle calls and answer messages with your watch. Text entering with the watch is easy but there is no speaker and for this reason you cannot answer any call only with your watch. You need your phone or a Bluetooth earplug. Answering calls with my watch is something I was doing every day with my previous watch when I was on the bike and my phone in the bag. This feature is for me missing and it is really annoying for me. The body energy tile is an interesting feature, but there is not much information about it and about what it means. I presume that it is based on portrait variability, but I'm not sure about it. The Summit app is easy to use for setup and tiles management. You can access many video tutorials to understand how the watch works. However, I would have expected more information and analysis about fitness metrics or sleep tracking. I was not able to visualize any graph over there. It is not a big issue since with Wear OS many watch applications have their own phone app which allows you to analyze all your data. Now, let's see how to use the watch for sports and cycling. The watch has a built-in heart rate monitor, which I tested during a ride. I did a comparison between the built-in sensor of the watch and the Polar H10 chest strap, which is one of the most accurate straps on the market. As you can see on this graph, the Summit 3 heart rate is in red and the Polar H10 in blue. Both curves are very, very close, except sometimes when you get lower values. This is very common for optical sensors when used outdoor because you have perturbations due to movement and vibrations. What I can tell you is that the result is very, very good compared to other smartwatches of the market. I think I will make a video about this subject soon in order to compare accuracy of different smartwatches and monitors. I did a second try indoor where there is less vibration and not surprisingly the Summit is one of the best, if not the best I have ever tried. As you can see here on the graph, except at the very beginning where there is a little difference, the heart rate of the watch is almost perfect. I measure an accuracy of 2.3% compared to the H10 in this ride, which is really fantastic. If you want to pair an external chest strap or a cadence sensor or a power meter, you need to know that this feature is not natively available on the watch. This is why we developed the app HR2VP for Wear OS. If you want to get the app, the link is in the description below. On the same outdoor ride, I was able to compare the GPS track with my Karoo 2 GPS. As you can see on the side, the GPS is quite accurate. Sometimes it's a little bit off, but Otherwise, it's very clean. The watch does well in this area. I measured the standard deviation in meters between the Karoo 2 and the watch, and the result is 13 meters. It is better than the Galaxy Watch 5 I have tested as well, and a bit under the Pixel watch which gets 10 meters difference. Now, there is the question of the price. Is it worth the $1,260? Well, 
After a few days wearing the Mont Blanc Summit 3 watch, I must say that I really enjoyed this experience. The watch has a premium look and is really easy to use. You have no, has no hassle even for people who never had any smartwatch before. In addition, you need, if you need more support, you can go to any Mont Blanc shop and you will be able to find someone over there which will help you. The only things I would have expected from the watch is a larger battery life and a speaker. For sure, you pay for the brand, but if you want a premium smartwatch with a very nice look that not everybody has, this watch might be for you. If you can afford, go for it. It's a luxury good, the price may seem a bit high, but it is always the case for luxury goods. On the opposite, if your concern is only performance and features, and if you don't care about the look, then I would advise to go for another brand. Well, that's it for today. If you want to see more watch tests, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye bye!